Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Let's do this again. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching. My name is Carisia. Today we're gonna do a thrift haul. If you're new here, we do thrift hauls every single Tuesday. So guess what day it is? Check your calendars. I'm gonna be doing a thrift haul. I recently went to Goodwill. Like I do literally every single week and I got some stuff for summer. So if you wanna see what I picked up, then be sure to keep on watching and also the last two items are gonna be really fun. So be sure to watch till the end. I'm pretty sure you're gonna like them a lot. So let's get started. The intro is always like so freaking awkward. So I actually went to Goodwill two days this week and caught a few pieces. The second time I went was actually better than the first time. They're all mixed up here, but this was two trips to Goodwill. Literally, I went like last minute. The first day I had 30, like the first day I went, I had like 20 minutes to shop. And the second day I went, I had like, okay, I had a little longer the second day. I think I had like an hour to shop the second time I went. So this is what I got in that time. Okay, so the first piece I got is from Hollister. We actually had a couple Hollister pieces in this haul. And usually I literally probably picked up one Hollister piece thrifting ever like ever in my like ever but i got two hollister pieces in this haul and this is one of them so it's just this like plain grayish like beige-ish crop light knit sweater this was like really like a staple type piece that you just throw on so i was like definitely gonna pick this up because it's just like an easy piece to like have and style and like wear supermarket where the post office just throw on i can have you know like leggings and like socks and nikes it is a size extra small and it can also be like athletic workout wear i like that it's like a little bit beige and not like completely gray honestly i didn't even notice the gray until <laughs> i showed you just now next this like knit this like knit top also from hollister it has makeup on it because i took some pictures in it yesterday or whatever it did that um and it has like makeup on it and yeah it's just like this cute little halsh top and then it has like these strings in the back these strings in the back which you can kind of like draw like that you see you can draw it out and then they like just hang down which is like really pretty i'm gonna show the pictures that i took in them because like that little detail just like added all the like oomph you need it like it's such a cute top pretty sure it's gonna get a lot of wear for me and it also has like a built-in bra i don't really wear bras but okay it definitely gives like more coverage and i guess structure to this top so really cute i really like that really like this one um this is definitely gonna get like a lot of wear for me this summer for sure white crop tops are always needed in like all different types of styles so yeah this is definitely gonna get a lot of wear for me and it's just like really cute hmm. i randomly thought of a shrimp empanada i want shrimp empanada the next piece is really like a bomb find like i find so much of this brand when thrifting like i am just like queen of that brand like sponsor me let's get into the industry because <laughs> yes okay so the next item is this gray button down but guess what's special guess guess what's so special about this gray button down i'm gonna give you a second guess guess did you guess i'm sure you did this is can you see that Christian Dior. Oh my god. It's so exciting. I find so much Dior pieces when thrifting. Like, at least lately, I found that I found a Dior blazer. I found a Dior nightgown. I found a Dior robe. I found now this Dior button down, which is super cute. I plan on styling it with um some like thigh high boots, some like 90s s thigh high boots and just like a black bag and i'm actually gonna I actually plan on taking a picture i was gonna do that today but 
before the sun went down and I don't know where the day went and the sun is up for pretty long amount of time these days right now and but I plan on taking a picture maybe I'll probably insert it it's probably taken already by now hopefully um but I plan on wearing it with like these 90s style knee high boots and this bag that I'm also going to show you in this haul so maybe I'll show you a picture at the end of this haul so I got this bag that I'm going to show you and I plan on styling it with those two items and just wearing it as like a shirt dress but I wear it I'm going to post it on my ebay so if you want to shop for it you can it's a size well you can look at the tag it's like Italian size I think it is Italian size and French size I'm not sure but yeah, this Dior button down is really cute and I'm really excited to style the outfit. So, next up, should I stay on top? So, yeah, I'll try to stay on top, so I'm kind of like pulling them randomly. What's this? Is this Hollister too? This was Hollister. Okay, so another Hollister piece. Maybe someone like dumped their Hollister wardrobe. I don't know. But I thought this would be like a good staple. It's just a stripe off the shoulder lettuce trim top it's kind of like cropped also but it's not like a major crop top but you can also like easily fold it under and make it more cropped so i mean i thought this was just like a good piece to have like to like go to supermarket just just easy pieces like stuff that you can just throw on especially like right now being as coronavirus no one's really going out I mean, hopefully that changes in the summer. But as of right now, and I feel like even in the summer, because we're just so used to it, it's just gonna be like nice to have stuff that you could just put on and not really like think about. Let's see, what's next? So next up we have a dress. I really, oh, I was about to say, is this a dress or a romper? If it was a romper, I wouldn't like it as much. But okay, the next piece we have is a dress. It's like this halter top black dress. And I know I'm gonna get so much wear out of this dress because I mean, it's like a long black dress. Like, I literally just bought my Y2K-esque sandals that I've been wanting forever. Um, did I buy sandals in that other haul too? Oh yeah, 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 I did. So I bought like two Y2K-esque sandals that are like easy to wear. And then to have this dress with it, I think I'm going to wear this so much. Um, The only thing about it is it has like this like crochet hem that I don't particularly like. Like, I didn't notice it when I picked it up, but I'm definitely going to still wear it anyway just like that but yeah really easy piece to wear and i think it's gonna be really cute i'll probably wear it to like the supermarket <laughs> so maybe you see my mom um i think it's cute and it's from this brand i actually see it at the bins a lot and i've never picked it up la hearts so yeah i think it's gonna be really cute and it's gonna like fit up here really tight and snug and, and just be like something easy to wear yeah that's gonna be great so this piece i'm so excited for i'm like so excited for it because they're a pair of pants and i've been wanting a pair of pants like this for the longest i haven't tried them on yet so hopefully they fit the way i imagined because my last haul if you guys saw i picked up those pair of pants and even though they were so cute and they're gonna be like so cute to fit the y2k vibe even the fit the Y2K vibe even more than what I thought they were originally. It's just not what I thought they were gonna be. So hopefully these aren't like that and they fit my imagination. They are the black high-waisted scuba knit Zara pants. What's especially exciting is that it's the ones with the like slit at the hem. I remember when I first started high school and all the boys would wear their pants like this. They would like have the slit at the hem of their pants and I used to think that was so cute but I would not cut my pants because my mom had just started buying me Levi's. I had like just convinced her like 
hey mom everyone's wearing levi's i want levi's too <laughs> and i was like nah about to cut my pants to like fit but i thought it was so cute from then and then it became like a whole trend and i've been wanting to be a part of the trend i just never found a pair with like good reviews so for me to like get a, a pair of zara ones with like this hem is so fun and exciting and it has like the zipper so i can like you know adjust however much i want it to be a slit as which is great i'm really excited about these i'm really excited about these and i cannot wait to wear them with my nikes the next few pieces i actually picked up because i probably am gonna sell them but i think some of them i could definitely wear too one's a really exciting brand as well i knew when i went to the bins to buy stuff for myself i was definitely gonna pick up stuff to sell because like how can i help myself if i see it how can i not you know not get it so the next few items are like stuff that i bought to sell and then lastly i'm going to show you some, some like accessories that i bought like i'm excited to show you those are so cute but okay we're gonna go through these really quick this one is brand is pretty good it sells really fast on ebay if like you ever decide to get into e-commerce or if you're like one of my resellers this is a standard jeans pierce hoodie it's like this green hoodie it looks kind of gray on camera but it's like green so i mean it's a hoodie i can definitely throw that on this one has a stain on it so we're just gonna ignore that i'm gonna show you the back but the next one is just this brown sweater it's the one i was talking about this one is from valentino pretty exciting brand oh it's probably like wool it feels kind of wool maybe alpaca oh yeah 40 percent wool and 10 percent alpaca so yeah it's just kind of this like cable knit sweater it's brown so totally on trend i've been wearing that brown h&m sweater that i think i showed you guys so much next item is a t-shirt this one i probably will be wearing maybe i'll tie it at the hem like that blue and white striped shirt this one is bag and bone so definitely will probably be wearing it because i mean it's just a t-shirt so but I'm also going to be selling that because I need it's a good brand. I'm like, look I am. Yeah. Lastly, first stuff that I'm going to sell is this really nice needle sweater. It's really soft and it has like these beige sleeves. I might take pictures of this, but I mean, I don't know. I think I like the length of it, so I feel like I would like to have the length showing. So maybe like a skirt just out, some boots, like out as in not tucked in, some boots. And that would be really cute. All the stocks are like having their earnings call today. And it keeps giving me the announcement. Like, hello, guys. I'm not trying to buy any more stocks right now. Honestly, because I bought enough. I have I got enough. Okay. So lastly, I'm gonna show you guys the accessories that I bought. First off is I hope I'm saying this right, but I think it's pronounced Dooney and Burke. Um, and it's just this like bag. It looks kind of like a Birkin. Maybe that's why they named it that. But it's like, it's called Dooney and Burke. And the first person I ever seen pick up one of these bags was actually an influencer that I follow on Instagram. Her name's Anne Wynn. She also has a YouTube channel. So if you're watching this, go on her YouTube channel and tell her I sent you because I be commenting on her pictures all the time. I hope it's not weird. But but anyway, she's she the first person that I've seen announce this brand or mention this brand. Um, so when I saw this, I was so excited because I've always been, I like looked up comps on eBay and I've always tried to like look for this brand and I've never found it. And finally I found it in this beautiful bag, but there's a downside. It's locked and there's no key there's no keys so i don't know um recently i found out that someone i know is a locksmith so i'm gonna see if maybe he can help me out and get this open and maybe i can use my fake hacker skills and figure it out but if anything i'll literally sell it locked and someone else will figure it out um i just wanted to take that one picture with the christian dior shirt with it so 
after that, someone else's problem. <laughs> so, guys, it's just really nice bag. Unfortunately, it's locked, but it's like in really good condition. And and for brand, I've been looking for this brand for a really long time. So, I'm really excited about that. So, the next one is another bag. This one I thought would be easy to open until I got home. And I was like, oh my gosh, did I get two locked bags? But I was like in my mind while opening it, I was like, no, there's this is impossible. There's no way. This just has to be like one of those bags that's like confusing to open, right? So it was, thank God. It's like you just gotta like flip this and then it opens. Um, even though it looks kind of yellow inside, it's actually new attack. It's probably just like a really old bag, but I thought this was a staple because I needed a wet bag. I've been like making effort to buy accessories lately. I have like a whole Shein order coming. Um, so be sure to subscribe if you want to see a Shein haul. I just like bought all the things that I felt were basics and like staples from Shein all at once. So, if you want to see that, be sure to subscribe and thumbs up this video if you like this so far. I feel like it's kind of boring, but I won't insert this me saying it's boring. <laughs> I thought this bag was cute, so I got it. And I think it will look cute with a lot of outfit, and I like the like length of the strap. It's not like super long. It's not like you know, it's kind of cute. I like it. And now for the last two items, which are really, really cute. First off are these shoes. Okay, right, should I show you this first or last? I don't know. Okay, the second one, they're kind of like, they're bow neck. I don't know which one to show you first. But this is the one I have in my hand. They're bow neck. Look at that. Well, anyway, I took the pictures I intended to take with it, so it doesn't even matter. I'm going to show you the number one right there. Okay. So this one, okay, so these are the shoes that I got, well one of the pair, I got two pairs of shoes, one of them, both of them are like really cute, I really like this one, but it's like literally, I just bought it and it's falling apart, thank god I've already taken the pictures that I intended to take with it, but the first one are these like, Claire, like, stripper type heels platform heels they're really cute and like everyone's wearing these type of shoes right now so i was like so excited that i found these and then they're like lace up which i really like i really like like lace up shoes because i don't know i think they're just like really like feminine and just like really pretty like ballerina type things and then it has this like beautiful heel if you like follow i think her name is solange Hopefully I'm saying that right. But anyway, she made like a heel. Or was it Jacquemus? 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 <laughs> Whatever. They have like a heel like this for their shoe. And I was like, oh my god, this is so cute. They're like, the people are gonna love this. The peoples. You're the peoples that's watching this right now. The peoples on Instagram. The peoples are gonna love this. And I am also the peoples because I love this. Oh my god, this is so freaking cute. It has a heel and then like the whole front. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm ever gonna get to wear these out, but I got to take some pictures in them. So thankfully, um, at the bins, these were probably like $2, I think. So, you know, it's not that big of a deal that they're like <sighs> done already and I'm just showing you them. But they did they came in and did what I intended for them so anyway super cute give this video a thumbs up just for these shoes they had their time which was like about two days <laughs> and they're just like so freaking cute so these last pairs I know aren't gonna be like the pair before so first of all this heel is on trend right now, and second of all, what brand is this? What brand is this? Like, look, look at it from here. What brand is this shoe? Does it not like a, look like a Dior shoe? This looks like something Carrie Fisher from Sex and the City would wear, but they're actually, I don't even know what brand this is, but they look like Dior shoes, and then there's just like this light blue, 
and i feel like light blue totally is gonna be into that like it's totally about that y2k vibe like i need a light blue purse light blue sunglasses what else am i gonna buy again yeah i was also gonna get a light blue bucket hat like i feel like hot pink is gonna be in for y2k vibes obviously brown um i feel like everyone's like kind of iffy if like brown's gonna be continuing out for summer or not i feel like it is but i feel like along with brown hot pink and light blue is gonna be like the total vibe this summer so these are it i had like really wide feet so i was kind of like worried if this was gonna like look cute but it does thank goodness i feel like i'm gonna wear these a lot i think these look, look cute like wide like wide leg jeans or like straight leg jeans you guys might have seen that blue jean crop top that i bought in my last haul so i think that'll look cute with that and like some like blue sunglasses and like a jean mini skirt cute yes freaking fire and all those last couple items that i got are like bomb they're like there's like levels and this is like one of the higher levels <laughs> we're totally excited about that so yeah that is it for this week's thrift haul thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed be sure to give me a thumbs up be sure to subscribe i'll try to edit this so it's not like hella boring <laughs> with my monotone and just freaking awkwardness like honestly but it is what it is and i'll see you in the next video <laughs> bye